This 7-inch mini laptop from AliExpress is a fun device and I use it practically every day. I made several videos about using it and even tried modifying it a little. Tried. I got quite a few comments asking about it. So can you really use a mini laptop every day for 6 months or is it just a novelty gimmick? So what you have here is a 7-inch diagonal, touchscreen, low-powered, small form factor laptop. You can find several with varying internal specs, but they all seem to look similar to this style externally. They have this cnc aluminum look. The touchscreen is useful for non-precise tasks like starting a program or shutting windows down. The keyboard is compacted in some odd areas, and even though it's usable for typing small emails or small notes, you might find yourself making quite a few typos typing anything substantial, like say the shot list and script for this video you're watching now. It has what I assume is an IBM inspired red dot mouse that's split between the spacebar. It works okay, but I ditched its use quickly for a small Bluetooth mouse, I just keep with it. Also, for keeping things with it, you could find a barrel to USB jack adapter, something similar to this to carry with you and your laptop. And as long as you have an appropriate power supply, it can give the small battery a little longer life. The battery life isn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's still a factor if you're gonna use this mostly for games or graphically intense processes, but for everyday browsing or doing a little coding, it's not bad. You could be on it for a couple hours each night, plug it in, charge it up, and be ready for the next day. My biggest issue with this device isn't so much the device itself, but the companies that make it or sell it. There just seems to be no consistency. The listing will tell you that it is one processor, let's say the J4105, but the device will have a J4125. Also, when I purchased it, I went for the cheap 128 gigabyte model. It showed up with a 256 gigabyte SSD. Even though it's a $200 cheap laptop, you still kind of want to know what you're buying. There have been a lot of people asking if you can use this as a main PC. I definitely would not recommend it. I've said that several times in the comments. It's good for web browsing and low processor intensive tasks. Typing, online research, cloud-based systems, those are all more in line with its intended abilities. Everything is just okay on this device. The sound from the speakers are okay. A little tinny, but okay for most things. The camera is okay. It's useful for video calls, but it's not good if you need something with great detail. The microphone is on the side and picks up the sound of the constantly spinning fan. I haven't been able to really adjust that how I would want to. I have heard that low powered gaming like old emulators can work. Larger games, Minecraft is playable. I've played quite a bit of Minecraft on this. Maybe too much Minecraft on this. CSGO will work on the lowest graphical settings. I've played it with bots and was able to get a few kills. It's actually not too bad. But with both games, you still have the issue of the battery being pretty far drained after about an hour of use. Playing eSports titles is not this device's thing. But if you're gonna use this in addition to another PC at home, then this thing becomes actually much, much more useful. I use remote desktop every day to remote into a larger PC, whether it's my laptop or that mini PC that I did a couple videos about before. Now you have a situation where this laptop isn't doing the heavy lifting or the heavy processing, and it's just accessing whatever it is on that other PC. The battery easily lasts several hours and the device doesn't heat up. If I want to work on Jarvis, I can actually just be sitting in the living room, remote into his main PC, and then work on some code, add APIs, or whatever I want to do. I've actually used this for Shotcut to edit small portions of videos. <laughs> it's not fun and a little difficult because the monitor size is much smaller, but you can actually do it in a pinch. Don't use this for gaming like that. Remoting into a game playing on a different PC is nauseating. I did modify mine to access the extra USB-C port that was hidden. It's not a full USB-C and doesn't do any video out or power in. I actually haven't used it as much as I thought I would. So what do you think? Can you see yourself using a small laptop like this? I'll have a link for the one I purchased down in the description. Take a look for yourself. Let me know what you think. It was also brought up and I'm actually thinking about making a form for others using or interested in this laptop. Would you be interested in an actual forum for owners to discuss issues, use cases, upgrades, mods, anything that they did to this? Let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.